Hi, I'm Nick Shell with Family Friendly Daddy Blog. Pee Wee's Big Holiday has just been released. I'm one of the first bloggers and YouTubers to see it and put this video out here for you, parents who are wondering, is this movie appropriate for my children, for my family? I sat down with my son who's five years old and my wife also was there too. And we watched this whole movie and I took notes. I mean, I took down every detail and this is from the most conservative point of view possible. So that way, if there's anything at all that could possibly be offensive to anyone out there, I'll be the one to point it out. So let's go ahead and get to work. Again, this is Pee Wee's Big Holiday on Netflix that you can watch right now. It's rated TV PG. Now I wanna say this, it's more of a 1980s PG. Think about the first Pee Wee Herman movie in 1985, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. It's not so much about the language as much as it is suggestive material that parents would notice that kids won't. That's ultimately what gives it its rating. But ultimately, I'm gonna say, if this were a movie today that came out in theaters instead of the TV rating, and we're looking at a movie rating, I think it'd actually be PG-13, comparable to the newest Ninja Turtles movie, or even Ant-Man. But again, by TV standard, which is what this is rated by, it's given a TV PG rating. Let's find out why. Now, keep in mind that I'm going to do this video so that anyone can watch this particular video. Okay, so I'm not gonna say the words that could offend people if they could be deemed at all as profanity of curse words. So let's get started with the worst word in this movie. That is when Pee Wee Herman is told he's a bad, and I'll just fill in the blanks there for you. It's, a, it's an at symbol, SS, you get the picture? So they say that word, whereas I didn't say it, they do say it. It's quick and you have to be ready for it, but it is there, it's undeniably in the movie. So that's the worst cuss word or whatever you want to call it. The next word, I'm going to censor this so that this particular video is safe for anyone to watch, even in church, <laughs> but instead of crabby, change the B's to P's. Pee Wee himself says that word. Do you get what I'm saying? So here's that word. And then in the same scene, he also says halfway to hell. Now I want to point out that I recognize he's in a well and he's talking about geographically, he's halfway to hell. This tells us that Pee Wee believes that hell is a literal place and he's referring to that place that he's closer to it. He's not using it flippantly, he's using it, if anything, biblically. He's talking about a literal, a literal hell that he is closer to. So there is that uh, in there as well. He uses the word fudge. Obviously you can imagine what he's implying there. He says fudge and then he also says it again, holy fudge, which we can technically say is sacrilegious if we need to go that route. It's in there. There's one use of, oh my gosh, we don't let our son say that in this household because it uh, hints at uh, taking God's name in vain. So there is that phrase in there one time. There's darn it, which uh, we obviously don't let our son say that either, which is a euphemism for a stronger word. And then there's eight uses of the word stupid. Now it's funny because with all this language I've just talked about, my son didn't recognize any of this other stuff. But when he, but the very first time they said stupid in this movie, he went, he looked at me afraid that I wouldn't let him keep watching the movie because of that word. So uh, he recognized that. That's the thing that he was most concerned about was stupid. Again, stupid, I counted eight times all the way through the movie. And sometimes it's all one time. Stupid, 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 stupid like that. So if you have a five-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, and they're watching this movie, that's probably the only thing that they're really going to notice. Uh, as far as offensive language. Okay, now that we got the language out of the way, I wanna talk about subject matter in this movie that you may find inappropriate. So again, I'm gonna be very picky because I want this video to be relevant for all parents. The more conservative, so be it. That's especially who this video is for. Okay, so let's get started sort of in chronological order as I took my notes and regrouped them. So the first suggestive material I saw in this movie was uh, there, there are these three ladies who rob a bank and Pee Wee Herman basically helps them escape, not quite realizing that they've just robbed a bank. And in this event, one of the women, who goes by Pepper, straddles Pee Wee Herman to take the, the steering wheel away from him. So she's basically hijacking the car while the car's moving, while Pee Wee's driving it, but she does straddle him. So you could deem that as suggestive. Also, shortly after that, Pepper uh, makes a statement, it gets me right here. And when she says right here, She's grabbing her breast. It's, it's very obvious when she does this. So shortly after that, uh, there's a moment where Pee Wee Herman thinks the police show up 
to rescue him from being in this uh, motel room with the three of them. And of course, let me point out, they have knives. They have, they all three have knives. He's being held against his will, strapped down, taped up to a chair. So there's that going on. And then the police walk in and, you th and he thinks, oh, I'm being saved. They're going to rescue me now. When in reality, they're male strippers. And they instantly strip down to basically bikini briefs. So uh, the women don't strip down, but what happens here is there's a pillow fight and Pee Wee gets knocked in the head and gets knocked out and wakes up the next day. But there's no way around it. There are absolutely male strippers that were invited by these women. We don't know what happens afterwards because again, Pee Wee gets knocked out by the pillow. The most nudity that's shown here is the men, again, down to bikini briefs. As far as the women, they're already dressed a little scantily anyway. A little bit suggestive, a little bit pinup model-y, 1950s-esque. Uh, so they don't take off any more clothes. But the main one, Pepper, the one that's the most suggestive, is also wearing the most suggestive clothing. Because again, when she says, it gets me right here, there's no question what she's talking about. Moving on, I've noticed uh, as people are driving in cars in this movie, they tend not to wear seat belts. There's one point in the movie where Pee Wee hitches a ride with a traveling salesman. There's seat belts in the car, but they're choosing not to wear them. So that's actually taboo for us. And here in Tennessee, it's illegal to <laughs> drive without the seatbelt on. So that's an illegal act, right? If we, if we were, I'm getting, I'm being technical, right? That's why you're watching this video. So after that, Pee Wee finds himself at Farmer Brown's house uh, as, a, as a safe place to stay for the night. Now the thing about Farmer Brown, he's very welcoming. Uh, however, he has nine daughters and there's definitely this whole scene, this whole part of the movie is really kind of suggestive but not necessarily too overt. But basically what's going on is Farmer Brown wants to marry off at least one of his daughters to Pee Wee. So somewhat strangely, as Pee Wee is taken up to his room, the farmer kind of snaps at Pee Wee and says, says, stay away from my daughters. Pee Wee's in bed in the room with the door closed, yet the daughters come one by one to the door, bringing him snacks or blankets or whatever it is. And they're trying to get in the bedroom with him. Now Pee Wee is a boy. They point this out in the movie. They refer to Pee Wee Herman as a boy. They never refer to him a man. Pee Wee Herman is not a man. They make it clear in this movie, Pee Wee is a boy. Okay, so keep that in mind. You've got these women in their 20s or 30s, trying to get in the bedroom, with his, which is actually a boy. So think about that either way. If he was a man, and they were trying to basically uh, get, the, get the marriage started early. If he's a boy, then technically they're child predators because they're adults and he's a boy. They say that he's a boy. There's no denying that. So that raises some questions there. When I talk about Anuino in this movie, that would probably be the biggest one that we see in this movie. It's either they're being child predators or either way, they're trying to get in his bedroom with a very intended purpose. Now, they're unsuccessful because ultimately Pee Wee jumps out of the window and escapes all of this. Of course, we also learned that at that point, Pee Wee wakes up in the barn the next day and the dad is there, Farmer Brown, and he has a shotgun. They all load up in the truck, Farmer Brown, Pee Wee, and the nine daughters, and they go to the chapel to get married. So basically, so what's happening is Farmer Brown is forcing Pee Wee to marry one of his daughters. And during this scene, Farmer Brown has a shotgun and it's very clear that he's planning on shooting Pee Wee if he doesn't marry one of the daughters. Of course, Pee Wee escapes, but there's no denying that uh, this is the second time we've seen Pee Wee held against his will by a weapon. This time a shotgun, the other time with the girls that robbed the bank, it's, it's knives. We've got threatened violence. There's no violence is actually shown, but it's threatened in the movie. Now the next questionable scene, now please keep in mind, I'm making this video for all parents that could possibly find offensive material in this. So I don't want to be politically incorrect because I don't want to offend people, but at the same time, I'm you doing this as a guide for parents to know what they would find appropriate. So I'm going to be very picky. So one of the scenes after this, what we see is that Pee Wee hitches a ride with this tour bus and their hairdressers on this tour bus. Now two of them are women and two of them are men. But, well, the best way to describe it is just to tell you what my son said as soon as he saw this. He said, Daddy, are those women? My response was, they're all acting like women. And then after a few more minutes, he responded by saying, actually, Daddy, two of them are boys. I see that they have a beard and a mustache. This could be confusing to your child if your child has not been exposed to this sort of scenario, when I don't suppose my son has. So I just want to point that out. Be ready to explain to your children 
what's going on. Are these men? Are they women? What, are they men dressed as women? I'll let you sort that out with your, your child if they watch this movie. But that's definitely a conversation that could pop up, again, if your child has not been exposed to this sort of situation before. When Pee Wee falls into the well and says that he's halfway to hell, he strikes matches, uh, and during this he sees these imaginary people. One of them is actually the devil or Satan, but it's Pee Wee himself. So he sees a Satan version of himself that he talks to. So you may find that inappropriate or even frightening for younger children. And we also see a, a, some shower scenes. So I just want to talk about those real quick. Uh, Joe, uh, the actor in this movie who has the, who has the birthday party, uh, is seen showering. Now, you're not seeing anything, but he's clearly without a shirt. Kind of like uh, if you've seen The Bachelor, every single... I don't watch The Bachelor, but I have seen it, and I know that in The Bachelor they always have a shower scene with him. It, it's basically to mock that, but that's in there. I guess a more offensive shower scene would be a little bit later, and we see Penny and Grizzly Man Daniels in sort of a, a barrel tub taking a bath together. Now, when you first see it, it appears that they are nude. You can't really tell. You can just kind of see from shoulders up like you're seeing me now, but the woman doesn't have any clothing up here, so it appears that they're definitely uh, naked behind that barrel in, in the bath. A few minutes later, if you keep watching, when they cheer, you see that the woman is wearing a bathing suit, so therefore we assume the man is too, but it's still obviously suggestive. That's the overview of anything a parent could possibly find to be offensive. Now that you've heard what's in this movie, you know what to expect. I really don't think you're gonna see or hear anything in this movie and, and think, well, you forgot to cover that. I mean, I was taking good notes. So if you find something beyond what I've covered, uh, feel free to put it in the comments, but I think this just about covers it. So again, Pee Wee's Big Holiday is rated TV PG. If I were to translate that into a movie rating, I would definitely give it a PG-13 rating. Is this movie appropriate for your child? Well, you've watched this video. Did you hear anything you wouldn't want your child to be exposed to? Every parent's different and every culture and every household's different. I can't answer that question for you, but based on what you've heard me say, I'll let you make that decision. Now, if we were to turn the camera on me, which it actually is to begin with, uh, and you were to say, well, what did you think about it? How did you feel about your son watching this, this movie? Well, that's a good question. How I felt about it, sure, I recognized all of the innuendos here and the language. My son didn't. My son's five. He didn't recognize anything that could possibly be inappropriate. Uh, again, he was confused by the effeminate hairdressers that were men that were acting like women and kind of looked like women. He was confused by that. But as far as me regretting him, watch it? No, not at all. I mean, it's, it's, for me, it's no different than Pee Wee's Big Adventure in 1985 or Big Top Pee Wee in 1988. It's the same amount of offensive material. Those movies were rated PG. If they were made today, they'd be PG-13, I think. It's the same caliber. I don't think they're any more offensive than the original movies. So just keep that in mind. If you're okay with your child watching the first two movies from the 80s, I don't feel that this is any worse than those. I think it's on the exact same caliber as those movies. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. Again, this is not for me to uh, morally judge the movie or those who are in it or the writers or anything like that. I'm not, I don't want to feel like I'm, I don't want you to see me as a judgmental person. Simply critiquing a movie for other parents to know if this movie is appropriate for their family. I didn't have a problem with my son watching it. Uh, because I was there with him and he was just mesmerized by the whole thing. It's a it's a hilarious movie It's an adventurous movie now my wife she she felt differently than I did my wife didn't quite feel comfortable with him watching it In fact, there's no way she, she would have let him watch it if I weren't there with him uh, So she didn't feel comfortable with it. I did if anything You know all I can all I can really give you to go on is my son is five and as far as a, a almost 35 year old dad and his five-year-old son it was fine by us. We've seen Ant-Man together at the theater, the Ninja Turtles movie. Another PG-13 rated movie we've seen recently is the new Star Wars movie. I guess if nothing else, you can think of it this way. Would you feel comfortable with your child watching a PG-13 rated movie? Not a hard PG-13 rated movie, but sort of a cleaner PG-13 rated movie. I don't feel that my son is ready yet to see the Jurassic World movie. While he would love it, I think it's too violent and too intense for him. I didn't feel this movie was too intense. And I think there's something to be said about the intensity of the content in a movie. This movie actually isn't violent, though weapons are shown. Uh, it is suggestive, yet nothing is really shown to make a child necessarily 
figure out what's going on. It's more about the parent being on edge thinking, uh oh, is something about to happen? Is something about to happen? I think, oh, never mind, it, it didn't happen. There's a lot of that going on. So you as the parent may be a little bit on edge, but if, you're, if your child is my age five, it's all lost on him. Now, if your child is closer to it, to it, the tween years, if they're 10 or 11, they're gonna start picking up on that. When the nine daughters are trying to sneak in Pee Wee's bedroom, at one point he actually says, I'm saving myself for marriage. Now, so obviously for a, probably a 10 or 11 year old, they're gonna pick up on exactly what's going on. As far as my son, he just knew that they were trying to bring him blankets and bring him food. So that's my overview of Pee Wee's Big Holiday. I'm Nick Shell. I'm with Family Friendly Daddy Blog, and that's what I do. I have my own blog, and I'm doing everything from a family friendly perspective. I think I'm a really good host for this. If you have any questions, I'm pretty good about commenting back. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this to be helpful. Again, I'm Nick Shell with Family Friendly Daddy Blog.